اي 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 ويلكم باك تو نيو ابيسود اوف ذا جاندز بوك اوف ذا بوز اي بوك بي اي انت ليك از وان اكستريم 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 سبيشال سو ديكات تو ديكات وان ابيسود 4433 <laughs> And on this podcast, guys, we're working together on the speaking together and we're going to end on our communication skills to stand in front of the camera and to communicate in front of the camera. And this, I'm doing, I'm doing this, this podcast because the truly believe the thing is the number one tool that each one must must require in order to, to be successful in life. And the second tool that is going to help us is you know, how, to communicate, how to communicate with from the camera. And if you take those two skills to combine together and you combine them, you can create great content. For the internet and you can influence billions of billions of billions of people around the world so i recommend to want to do this stuff to work with those kids and i'm um, guys i'm obviously speaking in english is some sometimes it might be challenging not comfortable and i know the, and then i know and i love this effect and i also like with this uh, thing to speak in english to speak in a way in a country you know in a language in in a language which is not my which is not my which is not my native language and to stand in front of the camera and to be and to interface a uh, body body perceptions so that you can see myself i'm looking if i'm looking in the face if i'm thinking if i'm looking good or not good to be in the camera and in the beginning i didn't feel so comfortable feel i didn't feel so comfortable and still i continue to do it and i continue to do it each day and now i feel much 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 more comfortable so this was got What I'm doing in the podcast is I'm sharing with you guys my struggle, my success, my journey to become a master in English speaking, speaking and reading, and then communicating uh, for the camera. And I have by sharing with you guys my own struggles, my own journey, my own success, feel the success, and inspire people to do the same, to also work, to also work with English, and give you some examples that you can see that you are not alone. There are several people around the world who, who are struggling to speak in English, who are struggling, on the, who are struggling with the way that they are looking on the camera. But still, we are continuing to do this, and I continue to keep, to push on self to get over these obstacles, those obstacles, and to become better, to, to get through this, to crush those challenges, and to become a master in English, speaking, speaking, reading, and communicating on the camera. So guys, this is what we are doing here, so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And guys, today, we have our guests from Euro Academy, they say, AK, we are learning how to be yours. And in order to be yours, we have to learn how to speak in English and how to be on the camera. And if you can sense it, it's a sense it, sense AK. <laughs> and sense AK, can you please tell us how to do it? Show us how you do it. And of course, I'm going to show you, tutorial to show you. And guys, if you want to check out those, my, those, my student, you can find them in over on free two, one car, bam, you can find them on good fun. And this is great up, up uh, this is great account of uh, my own academy, Apple to good fun. By now, it was a medusanol. Long time uh, we don't we long see we, we didn't see you when it's alone so we come back with the Nord we really love to work with you enjoy to work with you and this is great background upload to good fun from the Zanon on the 21st of November 2019 and it's done and it's downloaded already 235 we like it we will put the disc like it's a really nice picture you guys if you want to download the picture just need to choose the resolution over here Raise download. Right click on the picture, Shmirat Unad Bishem in Hebrew, or set picture S in English, and type down below in the comment section, I want it in your own English, and we all need to guess who you are, which is a really nice game. Shmirat Unad Bishem, set picture, press on it. Choose when you want to save it on your computer. Press save and comment just like that, you will get this great background on your computer. So thank you very much, Meduzanol, for uploading this, for sharing with this, uh, for uploading this. great background to good fun and thank you very much for the artist who made this great background for sharing it with us and for allowing me to share it on good fun so thank you very much and, and today guys we'll continue our journey with atomic habits the book down here 
it's a really, 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 really good book. I really enjoy it. I really love it. And today we continue with chapter 14. Yeah, I think it's 14. Advanced tactics of how we can create atomic habits. And you know, the recipe stored, I didn't, it wasn't so long because I have to go. <laughs> I didn't manage my time uh, so good. But today we have a really nice episode. We are continuing. We are reading what we were supposed to read in the previous episode and in episode 242. And on this episode, it's not going to be so long, but it's going to be happy and it's going to be savage and it's going to be lit. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And guys, if you want to check out this great account, or if you want to check out James Clear, which is who is the author, which is great record of this great book. If you want to check out the Atomic Habits, you got to think about the link in the description below, including the takedowns and the tips and highlights, the summary of the book. So I recommend to check that, those uh, book summary out. And on the final episode of this series, we're going to make a special episode when we are going to review the takedowns and habits. The takedown summary and highlights, and so also went for it. And guys, if anyone will have any suggestion for me, I can put myself for the podcast. And if you want to share something you use from the channel, you know, from this episode, maybe some nice quotes that you saw that you and they me said from the book, from me. <laughs> or if you any if you know, if you have anything that you want to share with us, feel, feel free to do it in the in the comment section below. So we can learn from you guys and we can arrange it to you and if anyone we are well and and we can uh, arrange your visit your hosting for the uh, podcast if you want if you want to join the podcast if you're a guest on the podcast share with the phone have a good time with me because really a nice guy you can type it in the down below so we can arrange it mm. yeah or if you want to come to the podcast, we'll get some podcast. And if you want to share, and if you want to share something with you, new with us, feel free to do it in the comment below. And one last thing before we start the book, guys, if you enjoy the journey, if you enjoy the episodes, and if you, and if you please can support my journey, please like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and put the notification bell, so you'll be notified when this extremely, extremely, extremely exciting episode of the YouTube. It's just a small effort for me, guys, and it's really mean a lot to me. So if you enjoy it, please do it. And if you subscribe to the channel, put the notification bell, you will get it. You will get five extremely exciting episodes per week. So I recommend to do it, to do it. And we you know in the coming week, in the next week, in the next Thursday of next week, we are going to have the special episode of 250 episodes. So let's go, let's go, let's go. After that, it's going to be the special episode of the one year of podcasting, guys. One, I can't believe that I'm saying it, but we're going to have one year of podcasting. And out of this year, I missed only two days, which is great accomplish. Great accomplishment. Wow. Until now. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to look forward to these things. So guys and guys, without any more introduction, let's just dive right into the book. So, 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 so. Atomic Habits by James Clear. Read with the meat, the legend, the man himself, the one and only. Give me some drum, please. Oh boy, hey, yeah, 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 but for a mental one, it's this way. I'm smart if you ask me about habits and the human behavior. Not so much when it comes to creating. Rocket pollution or get on count, 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 count. Competence, competence is highly dependent on, on context, context. The people at the top of any competitive field are not only well trained, they are also very suited to the task. And this is why, if you want to be truly great, selecting the right place to focus is crucial. crucial. In short, genes do not uh, determine your destiny. They determine your areas of opportunity. As physical uh, government notes, genes can uh, predispose, predispose 
but they don't uh, pre the, pre determine, predetermine. As when you are uh, genetically the predisposed to success around the areas, the rabbits are more likely to be satisfying. The key is uh, to direct your effort uh, towards the areas that both ex excite you and uh, match your natural skills to align your ambition with your ability. The obvious question, question is, how do I figure out uh, where the odds are in my favor? How do I identify the opportunities and the bits that are right to, for me? The first place we look for is, we, the first place we will look for an answer is by understanding your personality. And this is a great, great, great question. How do I figure out where, my, where the odds are in my favor? I do I identify the opportunities and habits that are right for me? Really great question that I ask myself a lot of times and I didn't know this question are coming and let's go. <laughs> I'm really pumped up to read, <laughs> to read uh, what James Clear said about it. Think about it. Title. How your personality influences uh, your habits. Your genes are operating uh, beneath, beneath the surface of every habit. Indeed, beneath the surface of every behavior. Genes have been uh, shown to influence everything from the number of hours you spend watching television, to your likelihood to marry or divorce, to your tendency to get addicted to drugs, alcohol, or uh, nicotine. There is a strong genetic uh, component, com component to how obedient or uh, rebellious you are when facing the authority. How vulnerable or uh, resistant you are to stressful events. How pro proactive or uh, reactive you tend to be. And even now, cap captivated or bored, you feel uh, during sensory experiences uh, like attending a concert. A strong from, from in uh, a behavioral uh, genetics Genetics, geneticists at King's College in London, at King's College in London, told me. It is, how, it is now at the point where we have uh, stopped testing uh, to see if traits have a genetic uh, component, component uh, because we literally can't find a single one that isn't influenced by our genes. Bundled uh, together, your unique uh, cluster of genetics, uh, of genetic traits, predispose uh, you to a particular personality. Your personality is a set of uh, character characteristic, characteristics that are consistent uh, from, situa situa from situation to situation. The most proven uh, scientific uh, analysis of personality traits is known as a uh, big five, which breaks from which breaks them down to into five spectrums of behavior. One, openness to experience. From curious to inventive, in, inventive from curious and inventive on, uh, on one end, to courteous and uh, consistent on the other. Two, con conscientiousness. Conscientious, conscientiousness. Cons C-O-N-S-C-I-E-N-T-I-O-U-S-E-N-E-S-S. -S. Organized and efficient to easygoing and uh, spontaneous. Three, Extra, extroversion. Outgoing and, and, and outgoing and energetic. The celebrity and the uh, reserved. You likely know them as extroverts this Intro Four, agribilance, agribilance, agribilance. Friendly and compassionate to challenging and detached. Five, neuroticism, neuroticism. Anxious and, and, and anxious and sensitive to confident, calm and stable. All, have, all five characteristics have a biological uh, underpinnings. Extroversion, uh, for instance, for instance, for instance, can be tracked from birth. If a scientist uh, play a loud noise in the nursing world, uh, some babies uh, turn over it 
Why does it turn away? Turn away. When the resources uh, track uh, those children uh, for life, they found that uh, the babies who turned over the, the noise were more likely to grow up to be extroverts. Those who turned away were more likely to become introverts. People who are high in, in agreeableness and unkind considerate and warm. They also tend to have higher natural oxytocin levels, a hormone that plays an important role in social bonding, increases the feelings of trust, and connect as a natural antidepressant. You can easily imagine how someone with more oxytocin might be inclined, inclined to build habits like writing thank you notes or, or organizing social events. As a first example, consider, consider a neuroticism, which is straight all people possess to various degrees. People who are high in neuroticism uh, tend to be anxious and worry more, more than others. This trait has been uh, linked to hypersensitivity of the amygdala, amygdala, the portion of the brain responsible for uh, noticing threats. In other words, people who are uh, more sensitive to negative cues in the environment are more likely to score high in neuroticism. Our habits are not uh, solely determined by our personalities, but there is no doubt uh, that our genes are uh, not just in a certain direction. Our deeply rooted uh, preferences, preferences make certain behaviors uh, easier for some people than for others. You don't have to apologize for those uh, differences uh, or feel uh, guilty about them, but you do have uh, to work with them. A person who scores uh, lower on a conscious, conscious, pan, sin, tissue, uh, team for example, will be less, will be less likely to be Orderly by nature, and they may need to rely more heavily on environment, on environment design to stick with uh, good habits. As a reminder for the less uh, consciousness uh, reserves uh, among us, environment design is a strategy we discussed in chapter uh, 6 and, and, 12, and 12. The takeaway is that you should build habits uh, that work for you, for your personality. People can get a uh, ripped uh, working out like a bodybuilder. But if you prefer rock uh, climbing or cycling or rowing, then shape your uh, exercise a bit around your interest. If your friend follows a low carb diet, but you find that low, fa low fat works for you, then uh, more power to you. If you want to read more, don't be embarrassed if you prefer steamy, steamy romance novels over non-fiction. Non -fiction. Need whatever uh, fascinates you, fascinates you. You don't have to build the habits everyone tells you to build. Choose the habits that, uh, that best suits you, suits you, not the one that is most popular. There is a version of every habit that can uh, bring you joy and satisfaction. Find it. Habits need to be enjoyable if they are going to stick. This is the core idea behind the fourth floor. Tailoring your habits uh, to your personality is, uh, is a good start, but this is uh, not the end of the story. From attention to finding and uh, designing uh, situations uh, where you are at a, nat at a natural advantage. Title, how to find a game where the odds are in your favor. Yeah, I want to know. Learning to play a game where the odds are in your favor is critical for uh, maintaining uh, motivation and feeling successful. In theory, you can enjoy almost anything. In practice, you are more likely to enjoy the things uh, that come easily to you. People who are talented in a particular area tend to be more comp comp competent at the task and are then uh, praised for doing a good job. They stay organized uh, because they are making progress uh, where others have failed. And because they get uh, rewarded with uh, better pay and bigger opportunities, 
which not only makes them appear, but also propels, but also propels them to produce even higher quality work. It's a virtuous cycle. Take the right habit and the process and progress is, is, is easy. Take the wrong habit and life is a struggle. Like making the podcast, it's really easy, really easy for me, I really enjoy it. So it's easy for me to stick for it. And, but if I didn't like it, so I think it would be much harder to stick with it. To move much more challenging to stick with it. How do you pick the right habit? The first step is something uh, we covered in the field, in the field, in the field draw. Make it easy. In many cases, in many, in many cases, when people pick uh, the wrong habit, it simply means they picked a habit that was too difficult. When a habit is easy, you are most you are more likely to be successful. When you are successful, you are more likely to feel uh, satisfied. However, there is another level to consider. In the long run, if you continue to advance and improve, any area can become uh, challenging. At some point, you need to make sure you are playing the right game for your skills, for your skill set. Skill set. How do you figure out that? How do you figure that out? How do you figure that out? The most common approach is a trial and error. Of course, there is a problem with this, uh, with this strategy. Life is short. You don't have time to try every career, date every eligible uh, bachelor, bachelor, or play every musical instrument. Thankfully, there is an effect, effective way to manage this uh, conundrum. And it is known, and it is known as the explore slash exploit trade off. In the beginning of a new activity, there should be a period experience. In relationships, it's called dating. In college, it's called the liberal arts, the liberal arts. In business, it's called, it's called the spirit testing. The goal is to try out many possibilities, research a broad range of ideas, and cast a wide net. After this initial uh, period of exploration, 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 shift your focus to the best uh, solution you have, you, have, you have found. But keep experimenting uh, occasionally, 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 occasionally. The proper balance uh, depends on uh, whether you are winning or losing. If you are currently winning, you exploit, exploit, exploit. If you are currently losing, you continue to explore, explore, explore. In the long run, it is uh, probably most effective to work on the strategy that seems to deliver the best result with about 80 to 90 percent of the time and keep exploring uh, with the remaining uh, 10 to 20 percent. Google uh, famously asks employees to spend 80 percent of the work of the work week on the offici official job and 20 percent of on projects of their choice which has led to the creation of a blockbuster products like AdWords and Gmail. The optimal approach also depends on how much time you have. If you have a lot of time, like someone at the beginning of their career, it makes more sense to explore because once you find the right thing, you still have a good amount of time to explore it, to exploit it, exploit it. If you're pressed for time, say, as you come up, on the deadline of your project. You should implement it as the best solution you have found so far and get some result. Said, get some, like the Joko Billing, get some. Walk out, get out there and get some, and get, and get some results. Excel explore, ex, you, ex, as you explore different uh, options. There are a series of questions uh, you can ask yourself to continually narrow in on the habits and, and the areas uh, that will be most satisf satisfying for you, to you. Satisfy satisfying to you, title. What feels like fun to me, but work to others. The mark of uh, whether you are made for a task is not uh, whether you love it, but whether you can handle uh, the pain of the task easier than most people. When you are enjoying yourself while other uh, people, while other people are uh, complaining, when are you enjoying yourself while other people are complaining? 
the work that hurts, hurts you less, then it hurts, the work that hurts you less, what's other is the work that you were made to do. Title, what makes me look, excuse me, what makes me lose track of time? The podcasting, like motivation. Flow is a mental state you enter when you are so focused on the task and attend that the rest of the world uh, fades away. This brand, the, or this brand of happiness and the epic performance is what athletes and the performers experience when they are in the zone. It is nearly impossible to experience a flow state and do not find the task satisfying at least to some degree. Title. Where do I get a greater returns uh, than the average person? We are continually comparing ourselves uh, to those around us. And the behavior is more likely to be satisfying uh, when the comparison is in our favor. When I started uh, writing in at uh, jamesclear.com, my email list uh, grew very quickly. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing well, but I knew that the uh, results uh, seemed to be becoming faster for me than for some of my colleagues, which motivated me to keep writing. Title, what comes uh, naturally to you? What, what comes naturally to me? For just a moment, ignore what you have been uh, taught. Ignore what society has told you. Ignore, the, we ignore what others uh, expect, expect of you. Look inside yourself and ask, what feels natural to me? When have I felt alive? When have I felt like uh, as a real me? No internal uh, judgments or uh, people present. No second guessing or self-criticism. Uh, just feelings of uh, engagement and enjoyment. Whenever you feel uh, authentic and genuine, you are headed in the right direction. Like, hey, book club, I really feel authentic and genuine. <laughs> so yeah, let's go, I really love it. The content creator lifestyle. Content creator lifestyle, guys. Hashtag content creator lifestyle. To be honest, some of this process is just luck. Michael Phelps and the HNL were lucky to be born with a rate set, with a rare set of abilities that are highly valued by society and to be placed in the ideal environment for those abilities. We all have a limited, limited time on this planet. And the truly great among us are the ones who not only work hard, but also have the good uh, fortune, the good fortune to be exposed uh, to opportunities that favor us. But what, but, but what if you don't want to leave it up to luck? If you can't find the odds that are uh, stacked in your favor, create one, yeah, create one. Scott Adams, the cartoonist uh, behind the uh, deliberate says, Everyone has at least a few areas in which they could be in the top 25% with some effort. In my case, I can draw better than most people, but I'm hardly an artist. I am not any funnier than the average stand-up comedian who never makes it big, who never makes it big, but I'm funnier than most people. The magic is that a few people can draw well and write jokes. Is a combination of the two that makes what I do so rare. And when you add in my business uh, background, suddenly I had, a, I had a topic that few cartoonists uh, could hope to understand without leaving it. When you can win by being better, you can win by being different. Different, I'm different, yeah, I'm different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different, I'm different, yeah, I'm different. When you can win by being better, you can win by being different. By combining your skills, you reduce uh, the level of competition, which makes it easier to stand out. You can show that the need for a genetic advantage or for years of practice by rewriting the rules. A good player works out uh, to win the game everywhere, to win the game everyone else is playing. A good, good player works out to win the game everyone else is playing. A great player creates a new game that uh, favors 
that favors is their, that favors their strengths and avoids their weaknesses in college. I designed uh, my own major. Biomechanic mechanisms, mechanism, mecha, biomechanics, which was a combination of physics, chemistry, biology, and anatomy. I wasn't smart enough to stand out among uh, the top uh, physics or biology majors. So I created my own game. And because it suited sweet, it sweet, it sweet me, I was only talking, taking, I was only taking the courses that I was interested in. I was interested in. Studying felt like less of a core, of a chore. It was also easier to avoid the trap of comparing myself to everyone else. After all, nobody else was, was take, uh, taking the same combination of classes. So who could uh, save the uh, better or worse? Speci speci specializations, specialization, specialization, specialization is a powerful way to overcome the and uh, to overcome the accident of red genetics. The more you master a specific skill, the harder it becomes uh, for others to compete with you. Many bodybuilders bodybuilder are stronger than uh, the average arm, arm wrestler. But uh, even a massive bodybuilding, but but even a massive massive bodybuilder may lose at arm wrestling because the arm wrestling uh, champ has very specific strength. Even if you are not the most uh, naturally gifted, you can often win by being the best in, in a very narrow category. Boiling water will soften a potato, but harden an egg. But harden an egg. You can't control a whether you are a potato or an egg, but you can decide to play a game when, when it's uh, better to be hard or soft. If you can find a more uh, favorable environment, you can transform the situation uh, from one where the odds are against you to one where they are in your favor. Title: How to get the most out of your genes? Of your genes. Our genes do not eliminate uh, the need for hard work. Our genes do not eliminate uh, the need for hard work. They clarify it. They clarify it. They tell us what to work hard on. Once we realize our strengths, we know where to spend our time and, and, and to, we know where to spend our time and, and energy. We know which types of opportunities to look for and uh, which types to, to of challenges to avoid. The better we understand our nature, the better our strategy can be. Well, I want to read it again because it's really strong. How to get the most out of your genes? Our genes do not eliminate the need for hard work. They clarify it. They clarify it. They tell us what to work hard on. Once we realize our strengths, we know where to spend our time and energy. We know which types of opportunities to look for and which types of challenges to avoid. The better we understand our nature, the better our, st our strategy can be. Biological differences matter. Even so, it's more uh, productive. Uh, it's more productive to focus on whether you are fulfilling your own uh, potential than uh, comparing yourself to someone else. The fact that you have a natural limit to any specific ability has nothing to do with, with whether you are uh, reaching uh, the ceiling of your, of your abilities. People get so caught up in the fact that they have limits that they really ex exert uh, the effort uh, required to get close to them. Furthermore, genes cannot make you successful if you are not uh, doing the work. Yes, it's possible that the ripped uh, trainer at the gym has a uh, bad on genes. But if you haven't, but if you haven't put in uh, the same reps, it's impossible to say if you have uh, been dealt that or a better or worse a genetic end. Until you work as hard as those you admire, don't explain uh, away the success is luck. In summary, one of the best ways to ensure your habits remain uh, satisfying over the long run 
יש טופ פיק בעבר לזה, יש טופ פיק מעבר לזה, את הליין ושיעור פרסנטי עם סקילס. בואו כמה דולר זה הפינג זה, זה תקאם, זה תקאם איזי. סטרונג אפיסוד, צ'פטר סאמר. The secret to maximizing your odds, your odds of success, is to choose the right field of competition. Pick the right habit and progress is easy. Pick the wrong habit and life is, is a struggle. Like I, saw, I can see it in my, in my study. I choose the, the, the not most, not the most uh, suitable uh, degree for me, like law and uh, computer science. And I struggled, but now I'm learning again and I really enjoy it. I really look for the, to work on my, to, to go my exams and to finish the year and to finish the degree. Because I truly believe that I can do it. Sometimes I doubt myself, but I believe that I'm, I'm going to do it. Gels cannot be easily changed, which means they provide a powerful advantage in favorable uh, circumstances, circumstances and a serious, and a, and a serious dis, disadvantage in an unf unfavorable circumstances. Habits are easier when they are habits, are easier when they align with your uh, natural abilities. Choose the habits that best suit you. Habits are easier when they align with your uh, natural abilities. Choose the habits that uh, best suit you. Play a game that favors your strengths. Your strengths. If you can find a game that favors you, create one. Create a podcast, create something, just create. Gens do not eliminate uh, the need for hard work. They, clear, they clarify it. They tell, they, tell, they tell us what to work hard on. And guys, guess what? This is the end of the episode, and it was chapter 18, not for a bit. This was chapter 18 of uh, Atomic Habits. And guys, I have to tell you guys, I really, really, really enjoyed this episode. So guys, thank you very much for joining me. I really hope the fact that you stay for the rest of time. And I really hope that you learned something new from this episode. Guys, I really learned a lot, and it gave me some thoughts and gave motivation to work on my motivation channel and tell guys to be true on my AK motivation channel. I didn't upload a lot because I, I don't know, I think that I gave up to myself. But my challenge for this year, after I finish uh, one year of podcasting, of course, is continue to podcasting and to, add, uh, to upload at least one episode, one, uh, one video to AK motivation, my, my motivation channel per week. Four episodes, four uh, videos per month, it's, I can do it. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, and I'm going to do it. And I'm looking forward to do it. So the challenge is coming up this uh, next year. So guys, thank you for joining me, for joining me. I really appreciate the fact that you choose, that you choose, choose to invest in time with me. And I really hope to see you again. I hope that you learned something from the channel. I learned some, I learned a lot, I learned a lot from this channel. For this episode, and I hope, really hope that you also learned. And remember, if you don't have, if you, and remember, please share me in the comment below what you learned from this episode or, or from the channel, from, or from this channel in general. And that's it, guys. I really hope to see all, all, all of you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Extremely exciting episode. Uh, chapter, we're going to start chapter 19. The Goldie uh, Locks or how to stay motivated in life and work. So I'm really pumped up to what you say for tomorrow's episode. And let's go. So I really hope to, really to see all, 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 all of you guys tomorrow. I am going to know that I'm going to see all of, all, all of you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Extremely exciting episode. I'm going to pick up the ball. That is there. We're going to take off the pen. Bye bye. We got today Sunday, the 5th, 5 on uh, December 2021. The time now it's 22 or 28. And yeah, we now finish uh, what I need to do, and now I'm, I have to go. I need to uh, go. Um, I have the opportunity to work on a to become better in a cinema and to make the assignment that I need to do in cinema. So let's go, let's go, let's go. יום ראשון חמישי לשתיים עשרה ופעם עשרים ואחת עכשיו היא עשר עשרים ושמונה, אז יאללה, חשוב לעשות את העבודה במקום לאי, סיימנו את היום הזה בסיסית, את השיעורים, את הפודקאסט. אמרתי לעשות את הפודקאסט עכשיו, מה שאני לא יודע אם אחרי זה החבר'ה, החבר'ה, כמה החבר'ה הגיעו. כמו שאתם עושים את האוזניות, להיכנס לראות שאתם לא מוזיקה, לעשות את העבודה הזאת ויאללה נסיים אותה וקדימה. נוריד קצת לחץ מהראש. להתראות.